What's up guys, welcome to the Jailbreak Update. This one's going to be all about the new iPad. So for you guys interested in jailbreaking your new iPad, I've got some awesome news for you. Just for the sake of this video, I'm going to call it the iPad 3. Sometimes I might still call it the new iPad. Bear with me. Earlier today, Muscle Nerd, a well-known iPhone hacker, posted two screenshots of a jailbroken iPad 3. Although he did also mention in the tweet, this is just a first step and there's still a lot of work to do. Along with his tweet, the iPhone dev team posted on their blog, uh, explaining a little bit, as well as some more stuff I'll talk about in just a minute. Uh, as far as his jailbreak, they said, we can confirm that the jailbreak method used to jailbreak the iPad 2 four months ago before Corona still works even in 5.1. That means we'll at least be able to get our foot in the door to get the required kernel dumps for the iPad 3. That's an important step but by no means is it the end of the story. So as you can see, this is a good thing, but there is still a lot of work to be done on Muscle Nerd's jailbreak. Now later that day, Muscle Nerd also tweeted, Busy iPad 3 launch day, congrats to Ionic for the second jailbreak method, and CH Pwn plus Phoenix Dev, I'm not sure if I said his name right, for the third method. So yes, you heard that right. There are currently three different methods to jailbreak the new iPad. But now let's take a little step back and talk about Ionic's jailbreak. So he also posted a YouTube video showing the iPad 3 uh, actually jailbroken. It's a really long video, but he does show City open up on it. If you want to see the full thing, I'll link you below. And again, as I mentioned before, CH Pwn along with Phoenix Dev uh, also have a third method to jailbreak the new iPad, and they also posted some pictures on Twitter. What a surprise. After reading all the tweets and blogs today, I can only confirm that Ionix jailbreak is untethered. I'm not sure uh, about the other two, but maybe you guys know something I don't. I'll leave it in the comments below uh, if you guys find out anything. But either way, just having one possibility of an untethered jailbreak method uh, is better than nothing. So all this is really good news for you guys who want to jailbreak the new iPad, iPad 3, whatever you're going to call it. Uh, the way they talk, it will be a while until the jailbreak is ready and available to the public, but I'm guessing since they've already made this much progress so far and it just got launched today, I think they may have this thing ready in the next month. I may be wrong about that. Uh, you can't never tell with these things, uh, but that's just my guess. But of course, if any more news comes out, I'll be the first to let you guys know, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to find out. Now, I do have one little bit of advice. If you do have the iPad 3 or you're going to be getting it soon, when you get it, do not update it to the newest software update, if there is one available. At the current moment, uh, there isn't, but the reason you shouldn't is because uh, as soon as the new software update comes out, they'll have to do a completely new jailbreak for it, uh, and it'll take them even longer to do that one. Uh, so be patient and uh, do not update to the newest software update when one comes out because I'm sure it will. All right, that's it. If you guys enjoyed this or it helped you out, make sure you click the like button down below. I really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. And also again, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any new videos on the iPad, the jailbreaks, or anything else you want to see tech related. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.